Today, we're going to teach you five wicked step over variations that you simply need to learn. Number five, the classic step over, which is probably invented by Argentinian striker Pedro Calomino in the early 1900s. It's one of those OG football moves. Approach the defender and then step over the ball with your strong foot, swinging it clockwise from inside out. Do that with the other foot as well until the defender reacts and you can move away. Make sure you always stay on your toes, that you don't kick yourself, and then this trick will work a treat. Number four is the outside step over, which is a great move if you've got the defender to the side of you and you want to make him believe that you're going to drag it with you and continue forward. So what you do here is that you step over the ball in an outside in or counterclockwise motion if you want to make the defender believe that you're simply going to drag the ball with your strong foot. But instead, you're going to step over the ball to basically put him off balance. And from here, you can either step back over the ball and continue going forward using your momentum or you can simply take the ball with you going backwards to round the defender. No matter what, henceforth, you shall be known as the Punisher. Number three is the Soul Roll Step Over Rabona, which is probably most famously used by Neymar, but is not to be confused with the Hocus Pocus. Now, what you do here is you take your strong foot, then you perform a small soul roll across your body, you step over it with your weak foot, and then do a Rabona-like motion. But instead of actually shooting the ball, you simply just tap it forward. Now, keep in mind that this trick is a little bit difficult, so you should be wary of using it in a match situation unless you've got it on lock. But if you can pull it off, it is filthy. And number two, the backwards step pose. And here we're talking show off moves. Now it might not be the most useful trick to use in a match, but it looks pretty cool, and if there's ever a window of opportunity to pull it off, you should basically do it. Now, it might be a little bit difficult to wrap your head around how it actually works, but basically, you should practice getting that counterclockwise outside in backwards jumping motion on lock, because basically, you're gonna be doing the trick without being able to see the ball. So start dragging the ball backwards, and then perform that outside in backwards jumping motion and you can move away. And if you pull it off, the defender is gonna be roasted. My favorite number one, the outside inside tap. Here you do a single step over with the foot opposite the side you want to go. Say, I want to go left. I use my right foot to do a normal step over. After that, I use my left foot to jump and tap the ball with the inside of the foot into the right foot, which I use to tap the ball across the defender and move left. It looks sick and is pretty effective, so you better start practicing right now. So there you go guys, five essential step over skills that you simply need to have in your locker. And as you can see, I actually did a sixth one for you right there. If that ain't service, I don't know what it is. But what should we teach you next? You should let us know in the comment section right down below. And don't forget that if you want to look fresh like me with the Nike Always Forward Pack on your feet, you can go and cop them right now by clicking the link and go to unisportstore.com right over there. Now also, if you want to learn some pretty wicked Aguero skills, you can click the playlist right down there. But only do it after you make sure that you've subscribed to the channel with the notifications on to see all the latest videos the second they drop. And with that said, guys, I'm signing off. Cheerio. Seventh. Woo!